Welcome to the Archibus tutorial for the project management module. This is all about entering a new project. To start, you're going to log into production. There are a couple of primary ways to get into the project work that you're working on or starting one of the primary paths is to hit the Edit My Projects. Clicking Edit My Projects will bring you into the Edit My Projects screen where you can see other projects that are available to be edited or the ability to add a new one. When you click the Add New, you're going to be presented with three possibilities, Project, Work Package, or Action. And that is a good point to talk about the hierarchy in Archibus. The hierarchy is set up. Top level is a project. A project has work packages in it. And work packages have actions. People often refer to them as tasks uh, within them. We're going to go in and select a new project, which brings up the Create New Project screen. We're going to enter core information, start date and end date. Now, the easiest way to meet the masking capabilities that are within our combustor to use the calendar picker. We've got one date already populated for us. We're going to put another date in here about a week later select a project type and either use a template or don't use a template. Now templates are going to be covered in another workflow so we won't talk about them here. For now we're going to go ahead and create a new project. This brings us to the new project screen and let's have a look at the UI real estate within that screen. You're going to notice that anything that is a mandatory field has a red star or asterisk beside it so we're going to go ahead and just enter some test information in a couple of these core fields. You're going to notice that there's a place for background, context, scope, and objectives. You're also going to notice that you have the ability to upload various core documents at the bottom of the screen here. Next up, let's talk about the cost and the cost estimate and the difference between the two. Cost budgeted is a number that will typically be provided by Ian or Joe. It is an order of magnitude number. It's a fancy way of saying that it's an estimate, a high-level estimate of what the budgeted cost was, is going to be. We're going to put that in just as, for our purposes today, as $10,000. The 1553 cost estimate, all PMs will be familiar with that, and that's the ability to put the number in that you've got from your script spreadsheet from the 1553. We're going to put that in a little bit less. We're going to say Ian and Joe budgeted $10,000 for it. We're going to call it $9,000 for our purposes. Again, any mandatory fields will have an asterisk next to them. Funding probability, if you're wondering, is just an area that is pulled up in reports later on in the process so that people can look and see where things are sitting. The date requested, the start and end dates are already populated from the other form that we entered it in. The duration would be the number of uh, days. We're just going to put five in here. Days per week, that's going to affect how the Gantt chart shows up in a later stage. So you can put that as five, six, seven, whatever your days per week are. Let's talk about site code and building code. There's a dependency. So depending on the item that you select, select for site code, we'll filter the numbers or the items that you see under building code. Similarly, div code selection will filter org code selections in the next drop down list. We've entered all of our mandatory fields and we're ready to move on. Good idea, like in any program, to get used to saving your progress as you go along. That's done through the save changes here. And you're going to notice next to the save changes, there's a request and a withdraw. Now, right now, before we hit request, we're in kind of a draft format for the project. We're going in, making some changes, kind of using it as a bit of a scratch pad, getting our core information. When you're ready to stage it for kind of the next step prior to approval, you're going to hit request. Now, important to note that once you've requested something, it is in, it has changed status. So you won't be able to withdraw it from that point. If you want to withdraw it, you need to do it in the step before when it was kind of in the draft status. You're going to notice that the status button down here has changed to requested, which is exactly what we want. Now, before we move along to send this off for approval, we have to add a few more pieces of information. We talked about the project hierarchy, that the project hierarchy has a work package in it, and a work package has actions, uh, also known to many people as tasks, within them. So we're going to go Add New, and now we're going to add a work package to our project. You can see in the left-hand side here, 
that our project I has been requested and it is right now just waiting for our work package information which we're going to enter I'm just going to put I again there I'm going to leave the start date and end date just by choosing the calendar pickers there we've got our core information in for our work package so we can now press save on that next step would be to get a task level information now a project could have more than one work package it could also obviously have more than one task we're just entering one for simplicity's sake so adding a new task and we should actually call it action because that's the proper nomenclature with an archibus we click new action and it's brought up the new action now so we've got a project a work package and an action we'll put in a name for it we're just going to call it i and now let's go down and look at the different financial information that's here you'll remember when you first set up the project you had a cost budgeted which was about ten thousand dollars that ian or joe would have entered you had a 1553 cost estimate which we put in at nine thousand dollars and now you're going to put in your baseline number so the baseline number is the number that your project starts at it can be compared at in reports showing deltas later so we're going to put in our baseline at um, nine thousand dollars again we're going to go ahead and save that and now that you're going to notice that you've got a project over here that's called i you open it up and it's got a work package named i you open up that work package and it's got a, a couple of tasks there with i as well so we've got a work package within a package and we've got tasks there and we're ready for our next step and the next step is to go over and look at the estimate costs Allocate funding is not something that project managers are typically going to be involved with. Let's click on estimate cost and have a look at this screen. Right now you're going to see a work package with any tasks. Now you're going to notice two tasks here. One that we had um, entered as part of the tutorial. Another one that kind of showed up as a mystery. That was just due to the recording that I went through for this session. So let's just... Uh, Pretend that we had the one task level. We've got it at $9,000 for an estimate baseline here. You can make changes if you needed to. You can see a summary of your tasks within the work package. And if you had more than one work package, they would also show up here. So you would finish your estimate costs. And once you've finished your estimate costs, you go back to the project. And now you're ready to send that for approval. Now, when you send it for approval, there's going to be a couple of options typically available depending on your role profile. If you're like me in a test system with some elevated privileges, you're going to have an approve button here, but more than likely, you're going to have to root it for approval. When you root it to approval, you're asked for the approving manager's name, and if there's a second or third hierarchy, you click root for approval when that's completed, and that'll send an email to them, and they'll get back to you when it's ready for approval. In case of this demo right now, or this tutorial, we're going to cancel out of that. I'm just going to go ahead and approve this. And we're going to go back to our home screen. Nearing the end of this tutorial, and we mentioned at the start of this tutorial that you enter the project stream creation process by clicking on the Edit My Projects. Once you've gone through, set up your work package, your tasks, and some core financial information, and send it off for approval, once it's approved, it's going to show up under your management console. So Edit My Projects, one important place to remember. Management console under Plan, Procure, and Manage would be the next. You open up the management console and it's going to show you depending on what status where your project now sits in our case the expected behavior would be to show it show up under approved and sure enough we can see project name i which is in an approved status now we can open that up and do various items uh, from it one of them being looking at the profile of the project itself <clears throat> now at this point in time we're going to leave this tutorial and we're going to pick up um, on the management console and next steps for the management process, project management process in the next tutorial. Thanks for your time.